Okay, so this is the welcome back part. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we have to play through the fucking levels again. Now we're back Twice. at loose cap. Yeah, we're back at loose. Oh, 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 oh that, uh, that was very fast. Okay, uh, we'll, 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 we'll see you back. We'll see you back when we uh, play through again. Shut up, Russ. <laughs> so. Okay, we're gonna win this time. Yes. One, the two, the objective is that you need to serve the bullies their milkshakes before they get to the counter. With justice. <laughs> now, justice. it's very difficult to do this because you can't tell exactly where they are, but you can kind of judge based on where you've been. And they get faster yes. too. And they, yes, they do get faster. And unfortunately, if you throw one milkshake, you only have one on the screen at a time. Oh. And as soon as one makes it there, you lose. Maybe you have to kill. Um, hey, I so believe it's ten you have to kill. It's such the beginning of the previous level, correct? Yeah, so you have to go back to the street level every time you die. Oh, Jesus Christ, that sucks. So, welcome back again. <laughs> <laughs> we're back to lose Cafe. <laughs> and we're How do you serve, lose Cafe again? We're going to uh, serve all of these milkshakes to the bullies, just as Marty did in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> he worked at Lose Cafe for a brief period of time. I have horrible aim. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> So, serve to the door again, I go. Why do you turn into a swat and fly when you get thrown uh, into the door? He throws him with such velocity that he can't even open the door. He just splatters, <laughs> splatters you against it. They so, sure threw you out in a hurry. You know? back in a minute, guys. <laughs> and welcome back again to Lou's Cafe, where you're serving chocolate milk to bullies to go. As you can see, the aiming to this part of the game is really ridiculous. Yeah, in fact, it seems like it's really easy, but the bullies have about seven different places they come up. And you have to hit them exactly. One one mistake, and it can cost you. There's only a few times whenever it won't cost you. And at this speed, it certainly will. Yeah, unfortunately, yes. Do so, you think you can use the chairs as guides, as markers? You think? No. Well, the problem is, it would really help if there were lines on the floor, or really about anything. So my previous statement about there being <laughs> ten <laughs> is wrong. It's actually probably more like twenty. That's so, stupid. My, my memory doesn't serve me quite right. We'll see in a moment, though. Ugh. Be right back, guys. This appears we are at Lou's Cafe. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> oh, no, the funny's dying. <laughs> oh, my. So There's actually a count in the top right that tells you how many of them you've actually knocked out with chocolate milkshakes. The funny thing is that, I mean, all of these bullies are just like the movie. They all dressed exactly the same. I mean, I remember that in the movie. Everybody that Biff ran around with dressed exactly the same, and they all wanted milkshakes. And, and they hated the manure. <laughs> well, unfortunately, there's no manure to be served in this game. Ugh. Other than Except the game itself. Must. No! Oh, and I tossed the milkshake, but it wasn't there in time. I mean, he's not even throwing you. He's using his force. You're, you're correct. Force throw. So we're back at... Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> what better way to introduce Welcome Lou's back Cafe. to ladies and gentlemen to Lou's Cafe. We need no more introduction to Lou's Cafe. Everybody understands where we are and the frustration we suffer through. Perhaps you don't understand the frustration you suffer through. Come on, where's the part of the movie where Marty just whips out his laser gun and just shoots everything to oblivion? Or his hoverboard. No, that's not until the second movie. Doesn't matter. At this point, it really, I don't think that would really matter to these guys. So he's actually knocked twelve of these guys to thirteen. Oh, oh no the hell! It's a new record. <laughs> he is bad. So we're back again. The Lou's <laughs> Cafe. Um, somehow I hit that one. Don't ask. Yeah. Didn't do anything. What? The, what? Are you just toying with now? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're mad, man. <laughs> I had to exact my vengeance he's on them forced, in a way. He's forced throwing the chocolate milk at so, him now. You just gotta toy with them. So if oh, you're watching... You're almost to the seat. Oh, in the face. <laughs> Ooh. So... Pretending you know where they're gonna be. It isn't such a bad thing to toss one every now and then. Like the battle of Blanket Hill. Don't fire until you see the grease on their hair. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's exactly how that went. Oh my goodness. Oh my. And you know, like, you get only... It, oh, oh my gosh. This <laughs> awful. So, we'll be back once more. So, welcome back to what would appear to be the end of <laughs> the Lou's failure. Cafe. I've killed 56 of them, but I've gotten served out of the bar once again. So, clearly I've died, and there's really no way past this point. We're actually this, this, this never end. I mean, I, really... 
That's out. I don't get it. The end result is the fucking same. You're still getting thrown across the counter. You hit the window. You splatter, and you're suddenly human again. And then suddenly, well done, Marty. Uh, you showed those bullets real good. As, as not counting the problem, they threw you across the counter. And uh, what happens after the Just, Lose Cafe? Oh, different colored streets. Oh my god. Oh, oh my 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 dick. My dick. Thank you, Over Crowd. Oh, the other crowd. Thankfully, though, I've kept the bowling ball. <laughs> that's really, that's really what, redeeming quality right that's now. That's what really matters in all. Not that skateboard. Did you, did you get on it? So I'm, I'm good. Next, next time. Is yeah. that a sunset or is it autumn? Challenge? Oh, under the well, that was a bit ambitious of you. Now, apparently, yes, autumn did set in during the time that we spent in Lou's Cafe, <laughs> which is well, probably no exaggeration, just, really. Yeah, I mean, it, we, I won't even begin to tell them how long we take it to clear that fucking bullet game. Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna conservatively say at least forty thousand times. <laughs> Thankfully, thankfully you didn't have to witness all of it. Yeah, you sure would have been bored with that. You don't have to witness any of it. It's a piece bowling of ball. ball. But I can't get the bowling ball. ball. Did you love how the sages differentiate after each? <laughs> now, as... and by differentiate you mean change its color? <laughs> now, as the Walrus King pointed out earlier, um, I really need the clocks, but at some points I really need the bowling ball. So it's hard to really differentiate what you need to do. You gotta sacrifice one for the other. And the biggest flaw of the game is that. You really can only take about three hits per stage or you die, because you just can't finish the stage in time. Now, that all being said, it makes you play that anyway. Uh, taking out of context just sounds weird. Oh, I wonder really want that digital clock, but that bowling ball is whispering <laughs> into my ear. And I think the worst part of it is that... All the clocks say 12 for your clocks for I wasn't meaning to shoot the clock. I really think uh, it would have been helpful if the bowling board. balls would have helped to nope, collect the clock. I mean, if you want to get realistic, yeah, I mean, throwing a bowling ball at a clock would destroy it. But, come on, it's a video game. It should at least help you collect it. Apparently, or it should be connected to that machine in the actual movie where... Oh my gosh. How, how did the I hell don't that even know how I, I did that. I, just I, just, sure just, just keep going. Just, just keep going. Masterful. What are they yeah. supposed to be? I don't know. Oh, right. Why'd you take the skateboard? Don't. Oh, oh my allergies. Uh, you. That bee you. allergy that Marty has. <laughs> is really acting up on the they usually don't come off back off the screen, but that time the bee did. Thankfully, the blue bullies only want to walk in a square. They have yeah. nothing really to do with me other than to walk in a square so and see if I walk into them. They're actually sensible beings. Um, yeah. They only like beat little... you in to get in that clock, but. I hope everybody saw that little obstacle right there where you really, really don't have an option of how you would go about it. Are those three logs supposed to be park benches? Now, look at those park benches right there. The only purpose of them to be right here is to kill you, should you not get the whole way onto this screen. Assholes. That it is. Where is the DeLorean in this game? This is Back to the Future, isn't it? Uh, Russ, now, Russ, take, take that mindset, I'll swear. The, the DeLorean really isn't in this game as much as one would like it to be. You need more clocks back. Me at all? Yeah, I need clocks back. I wouldn't miss any. Now. They're all out clocks. I just, yeah, I know we got into this earlier, I just really find it unfair that your picture time overlaps between stages. It doesn't reset itself, which I really think it oh should do. Oh, you died on top of a clock. How tragic is that? Oh. Oh, oh now you figured out of existence because it tripped over a clock. Now, excuse us for a moment. We're just going to pause for a moment. A little bit of editing magic here. And we're, we're back. back, ladies and gentlemen. So, apologies for the pause there. Uh, just had to go to the bathroom really quick. Cornered, yeah. <laughs> Cornered by the bully. The, the pink wife beater really makes it <laughs> very, very ominous. The bees, the bees are probably the most annoying thing in this game, apart from the bullies that throw things. Because the bullies that throw things, you just never know where the direction they're going to go from. At least the bees, you know, they always go the same way. But the bees, they can just sometimes appear, and you just really don't expect they them. They do appear. I don't know. Like sometimes you think you can off-screen them, but they end up just making the U-turn at the very last possible second. Kind of like those bees in Galaga. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind actually. of. Kind of like the bees in Galaga. Perhaps that's where they get the concept can, from. Can you describe like like that oil slick? Like obviously, I'm, not, I'm actually not at playing this game in a very long time. I can't remember that oil slick being how how effective that was. The oil slick just makes you kind of slide around. It doesn't do anything Would for you. Would it be more of a hazard if you're on the skateboard? It can be. It can certainly be more of a hazard if you're on the skateboard. All right, I've got enough clocks that I'll complete this stage. Assuming the bee doesn't kill you. Yeah, 900 points, guys. What's the point of the fucking score? What indeed? I think we've had the same thing about the Mario games, but... Could say about just this game in general, what's the point? 
to get to the clock tower. That isn't a tower, it's just the White House with <laughs> the clock top. That's how it's supposed to be played. Why did they think it was such a good idea just to have this theme play throughout the entire fucking game? Awesome. This theme, by the way, never stops. There is a code you can actually put in to make it stop. So they are oh, they were aware that this game might be really annoying. I actually couldn't pick up the bowling ball in time to hit that, just in case you were wondering. I was trying my hardest. I I, I really don't know what I can do about that, other than to... Oh, the bee! Oh, God. <sighs> Superhuman reflexes, you dodge that bee. What's not a very good idea? Jumping. It's just not a very good idea to stay at the top of the screen so long. Yeah. It's like that Ghostbuster sequence. Think staying on top of the screen will save you. No, that car just hit you at a whole whopping three miles per hour. And now you lost half your fuel tank. Yeah, this game, you really don't have any safe place to be on the screen. You want to be at the top, but at the same time you don't because things are always appearing. Oh, that bee they barely niched you. Now I died because the bee killed me and I ran out of time, but I didn't really run out of time because I had time left. <laughs> <laughs> I do love, by the way, how that the right part of the picture there looks like Dr. Emmett Brown with like a headband. Well, the left part kind of looks like a woman who's died and she has really alien eyes. You mean the woman from Beetlejuice? Uh, she's awesome. just turning into that awesome. skeletal structure. Marty, Marty kind of blends in with everything because he's so black. <laughs> I mean, look at how much of him is black compared to the rest of them. It's like his head's part of his shirt. Yeah, remember that? Remember that part of the movie when he was wearing that black T-shirt? <laughs> The black muscle shirt. Black muscle shirt. And the blue jeans cut. and lack of socks. I <laughs> think the most the thing I remember most about Marty when he was in the like the ending scenes in the suit was when he had the, the zoot suit on with the white socks and the black shoes. I think the most memorable part for most people would be the uh, life preserver that he wore for the majority of the movie. <laughs> that would also be. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it would be that difficult to program in. I mean, figure we got people with pink wife beaters. Or, or even, from the back, it would just be red. It or even just, just yeah, an orange jacket would be fine. And his I'd, white sneakers. I would that accept that. Also a big deal in the, in the movie, especially the second one. Yeah, this is the first game, though. Yeah. By the way, those sneakers are coming out, and they can lace themselves? No, they can't lace themselves. It's just the design. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I would support them as well. One second there, guys. Lorraine's heart. We have to break it. <laughs> <laughs> break Lorraine's heart. Nah, just a second. <laughs>